What's up Yu-Gi-Oh players and Yu-Gi-Oh fans alike, I'm here to show you guys a very cool, special, and quite a sentimental video to me. Uh, this is going to be a very special video for me personally because I'm going to be showcasing to you guys the very first Yu-Gi-Oh cards I ever got when I started playing Yu-Gi-Oh and kind of got introduced to the game. Now keep in mind I've been playing this game for a very very long time, I've been playing it for quite a while competitively, but overall I have been introduced to this game since it came out. Now this game in, the, in America was released around 2000, in 2002. Uh, I started actually owning cards around August, September, which is when I got these very first nine cards. And these are the very first cards. I'm going to show you them in a minute, but I got to give you a little preface. So, The Legend of Blue Eyes is the very first pack in all of Yu-Gi-Oh. Some of you guys may or may not know that. Most of you guys probably do. Legend of Blue Eyes came out in 2002, I want to say around March or April, in America, in the TCG, basically. And a lot of my friends at this time, when I was probably around the third grade, and I remember this kid named Johnson, if I'm not mistaken. And I used to go to school in San Francisco, in California, obviously. And his family had a card shop. And his older brother used to work there. And they started showing off this new game that really started becoming popular, and a lot of my friends had cards. And I was able to, you know, learn a lot of them from my friends and kind of, you know, learn, you know, monsters. I, I didn't really actually learn about the show. Like, I didn't know there was a show until, you know, a couple years after, but... You know, they showed me some cards, they let me use a couple cards for a little while, but sooner or later I had to give them back, and you know, they were their cards, we were, were kids, I could never just keep something that was theirs, I mean, at that point it was kind of like a toy. And around August, September, when the when the next Yu-Gi-Oh set, Metal Raiders, came out, the second set of all, in, in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, came out, I want to say in August that year, which was my birthday, and I was fortunate enough to get my very first pack of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And it's these nine cards here. Now I have them sleeved. Believe it or not, these are the very first original cards that I got. And I'm going to go ahead and show them for you guys and then tell you guys a really cool and funny story. But before I do, I want you guys to tell me what were your first cards or first pack or starter deck or first card you ever owned in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, I thought it would be very appropriate I did it on the original Top 8 Yu-Gi-Oh! mat. So I want you guys to comment with that down below. And now I'm going to go ahead and showcase to you guys my very first Yu-Gi-Oh! cards. So it was a pack of Metal Raiders. Um... And this was it. So my very first card, and this is actually what's funny is this is the exact order I got the pack in. Um, yeah, the first card was Blue Winged Crone, which I mean, Crown. It was a pretty powerful card, 1600 attack, you know. Tongyo, which was probably the goofiest card. It was a giant tongue fish guy. Uh, this card was absolutely hilarious to me. Then we had Morinfin or Moringfin, Lava Battle Guard. Now there's a very special story with this card, which I'll tell you guys in a little bit. And the, actually, if you can tell, there's a little bit of a crease on the card there, which is, you know, uh, where the story comes in. But I'll tell you guys that in a minute. My rare was a Robin Goblin, a very cool card. I, I love using this card, and, you know, once I started playing the game of Yu-Gi-Oh!, very unique effect. Um, very cool rare, and very cool artwork as well. Castle of Dark Illusions was one of the next cards. It was also one of my favorite cards, and one of the most unique cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! because it has some of the most bizarre stats. It has uh, 920 attack and 19 uh, 30 defense, so very bizarre stats. No cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! really have stats like this anymore. Um, Konami made the stats a lot more user-friendly, so this is a very cool card. Later on when I first learned about the show, this card was featured on there in the first season of Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, when they had to fight the five-headed dragon, so this is a very cool card and I really love it. I got a fusion, which was Roaring Ocean Snake, which I thought was my, my most powerful card. I didn't know I could just summon, I couldn't just summon it without polymerization. A Hybokine, and then lastly was Gigatech Wolf. Now this card was super cool. I really, really like this card. This card is probably the coolest card I thought because it's a wolf, it's Giga-ish, and it's a techie wolf. So, very cool. Now, these are my nine cards, right? But there's a very special story that kind of goes with one of these cards, and that card is Lava Battle Guard. So, I started accumulating cards over time, over the next couple weeks and months, and uh, I traded for cards, and you know, cards came and went. But there was one card that I actually, like, I traded for cards. And I remember some of the first cards I traded for, uh, you know, that I really remember, at least, that off the top of my head, was a slot machine and a swamp battle guard from my friend Walter. And I actually got that card right here, a swamp battle guard, along with a couple other cards I got back in the day with, like, other Metal Raiders cards that were just my personal cards. But um, this swamp battle guard was one of the first cards I ever traded for in Yu-Gi-Oh!, which was also, coincidentally, from... Swamp Battle Guard, and if you guys know the storyline, I guess these are Joey's cards, Joey Wheeler's cards. But what made this particular card really special for me was I accidentally or somehow, or maybe some of the, the kids stole it from me. Um, I think it was taken by mistake. I don't want to say stolen, or I don't think I ever wanted to trade this card. 
but somehow this card ended up in the possession of one of the other kids in my school. And I remember, I, I couldn't remember trading this card to anyone, but they somehow had it. I guess they must have taken it by mistake, and they never wanted to give it back. Um, because, you know, they said, you know, finders, keepers, losers, weepers. That was the saying back in the day. So, I spent probably a good year, not, not probably not a year, probably about like six to eight months, trying my best to trade this kid uh, back for this card, my friend Walter at the time. And after all these years, because I had Swamp Battle Guard, I knew I had to get the other guy back, and it took me all that time, but I managed to get Lava Battle Guard back, and it sucks that it had some damage on it, but I know this was the original card, um, I knew like some of the corner, you know, the, the corner damage that it had, and I knew the kid held this card for the longest time, and he promised he wouldn't trade it to anyone but me, so I was fortunate enough to get this card back, and I had its companion traded for Swamp Battle Guard, and uh, that's just a very cool story, and after all that time, I, I never wanted to... Uh, trade these cards away they were just really really special to me and uh those are my first nine cards that i actually owned and you know after that i got the starter decks i got all these other like random packs but these nine cards i could probably get rid of every hollow card i own every expensive champion pack card every prize card i've ever had i would probably never get rid of these simply because this is what started my Yu-Gi-Oh experience my Yu-Gi-Oh life and was just very special to me so Again, comment your stuff down below. What were your first Yu-Gi-Oh cards? What was your first experience? Like I said, I had access to other cards in terms of like Blue, Legend of Blue Eyes stuff and was allowed to use them for my friends and for a little bit, but I had to give them back. But these were the actual first cards I ever owned in Yu-Gi-Oh. So uh, let me know with your stuff down below. I'd really love to hear you guys' experience and your first experience with Yu-Gi-Oh. But uh, yeah, peace out, you guys. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys check out my other videos, subscribe if you already have it, and drop a like. I mean, this is something that a lot of people probably my age and just people that have played for Yu-Gi-Oh! as long as I have aren't able to do. I mean, let alone remember the, their cards actually have them. It's, it's just not something that's going to happen, and I know these are going to be with me for a very, very long time, and hopefully I'll be able to keep these and maybe one day show them to my kids. So, peace out, you guys. See ya, and remember, duelists. Limits, like fears, are often just an illusion. I'll see you next time, guys.